Hello, uh, my name is James Gill and today we're going to have a quick look over the latest uh, breast cancer training models uh, that we have from Adam Ruley here at the medical school. These models and five additional pairs uh, were sourced through a charity drive called Biking for Breasts, which was um, supported through Zwift, the DZI Foundation, and many, many members of the public who came along to Warwick Medical School and cycled 2,000 kilometres in 24 hours on the Zwift cycling setup. The benefit of these breasts compared to previous uh, cancer models is that we have the option to put in different tumour types where we want to on the models and with that we can put exceptionally subtle pathological findings inside the breast tissue to allow medical students and doctors to examine for those. Because the funding for these breasts came from a charity event, we want to try and take these models outside the setting of the medical school to try and help members of the community get the most out of the educational benefit they can provide. This is one of the reasons that we're producing the video today to show what uh, this model can offer in terms of education for people. And if groups such as Breast Cancer Awareness or school parties want to loan these breasts to learn more about what breast cancer would feel like and how to do effective and safe self-examinations, these are very much here for their utilisation. If it is that you're interested in um, loaning uh, these breasts for educational sessions such as that, please follow the links at the end of this video. So, let's look a little bit closer at these models. From a training perspective, these models can be used on the torso themselves. However, they can also be detached from the torso and worn by an individual in order to facilitate a more effective breast examination. As will be shown in the separate breast clinical examination, the actual positioning of the patient and the movement of their arms is vital to performing an effective examination. When used on the torso, the breast models can be augmented with auxiliary node simulations to allow users to see what spread of the cancer beyond the breast to the lymph node would feel like. In addition to the auxiliary nodes, the advanced kits also come with simulations for the supraclavicular lymph nodes. The addition of auxiliary and supraclavicular lymph nodes is useful obviously from a medical examination standpoint, but the knowledge of what lymph nodes feel like and their location is also very useful for patients who have been diagnosed with breast cancer as it gives them some ability to monitor their own condition and if they notice any changes, contact health professionals in a timely manner. Let's just have a quick look at what makes these breast models such an excellent educational resource, both for clinical professionals, but also for use in the community. The models themselves contain two backing plates. Plates form the substance of the breast tissue and allow tumours and examination findings to be placed within the breasts. The plastic backing plates simulate findings connected to the chest wall or underlying muscle structures, whereas the foam pads forming the majority of the breast tissue allow for examination findings in the actual globe of the breast. With the multiple options for examination finding loading onto the simulation breasts, it gives a great ability to test health professionals, but also to allow members of the community to be educated as to what subtle breast changes which may be worrying feel like. In terms of community education, the whole basis is looking towards getting people to recognise changes, whether malignant or otherwise, in their breasts, to get people to attend their general practitioner in a more timely manner to hopefully result in a more effective outcome for treatment, if any is needed. Any number of examination findings can be loaded into the breasts and in any location. For example, a very subtle breast cancer or carcinoma, which here would be found behind the nipple, 
or a fibroadenoma, sometimes referred to as a breast mouse, which can be found towards the outside of the breast. One of the defining characteristics of a breast mouse is that it is easily mobile within the breast. And these models allow us to demonstrate that mobility. As the mass can move with inside the pocket when it is loaded onto the breast. As the mass can move very easily within the simulation as the mass can move very easily within the simulation specimen when it is loaded onto the breast. These breast models can be loaded with the following five types of pathological findings. Three different sizes of carcinoma or breast cancer, lymph nodes which may or may not indicate a significant pathology, fibrocystic disease, the fibroadenoma or breast mouse, again with the mobility inside the simulation, and our cysts. If you are located in the West Midlands and feel that these breast models would be of educational benefit to yourselves, whether or not that's at schools, community colleges, for use with healthcare professional training, or in any other capacity to promote awareness of breast cancer, please do not hesitate to contact us to discuss a potential loan of these models.